Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this retro style super do festive earrings. If you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell and in this way you will know when I make new tutorials, usually twice a week. You could also check the description for full list of materials, a link to my Facebook page where you could share your beautiful work that you did following me. Also you will see what you get if you become a member and you will see a link to my PayPal for donations. Thank you so much for watching. Now I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of Super Duo beads and two colors of 11 on seed beads. These are chameleon and golden color and here I'm using golden earring findings. This is monofilament that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters size 10 beading needle and scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back and... I will show you how I will make my first row. First I take two seed beads, then I slide them down like this. Then as I'm exiting through one of them, I'm going through the other one. Okay, and I have them attached next to each other. Okay, this first row is a little bit tricky. Then I go again through this one and I take one more and I go like this. I'm adding them next to each other. You see the holes are pointing in this direction and I'm going like this. Okay, then one more the same way guys it's a fourth beat and now in the same way i showed you here add 14 beats in total and i'll be back okay guys and i have 14 beats in total added here and what i want to do next is reinforce them how i do this I go back one by one through all of them. In this way I'm making them stay in an even better shape. Okay, I will do this until the end and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm here where I'm reinforcing my last bead from this row. Now what I want to do is attach this part to this one here. And how I do this, as I'm exiting from this bit in this direction, here by the way is also my tail thread. And as I'm exiting here, I go in my other end of my work. And then I reinforce these two, make them stay together. Okay. Now I have these guys and I'm going to start my next row. For it I'm taking a chameleon super do, a golden and a chameleon super do. And as I'm exiting through the holes of one of my beads, I'm going through the neighbor hole. Okay exiting through one of the holes and going through the neighbor hole. And I have those beads attached here. Then I will repeat this. I'm going in the next seed bead and I take a super do, a golden and a super do. And I go in the next seed bead. I go in the neighbor super do and I take a super do, a golden and a super do and I'm going in the next seed bead and 
then in the following one and again a super duel a golden and a super duel and i go here in the next one like this okay and i will continue this three more times and i'll be back okay and i have these two here and i'm adding here the last two beads from this row okay now in my next step guys what i want to do is go back through this seed bead in this direction and pull then go through the super duo the golden and the super duo like this and take just one golden and go in the next three super duo golden super duo like this then again one more golden and go here through the super do golden and the super do take again a golden and go super do golden and then another super tool okay and i will continue guys this until the end and i'll meet you here okay and here i am where i'm adding my last golden bead from this row like this then like this And then what I do, guys, is as I'm exiting from this hole of this super do, I'm going through its empty outer hole. And what I want to take is one super do of chameleon color. Then I'm going to take one super do of golden color. One super do of chameleon color one super do of golden color one super do of chameleon color one super do of golden color and i will continue alterating this until i reach here and i'll meet you okay and here i am where i'm adding my last super do of golden color now what i want to do is go in this direction and reach let's say this golden super duo okay here is my thread ex exiting out of the inner hole of this golden and then i'm going through the outer hole of the same golden bead and i take two golden beads go here in this one Again, two goldens and go here. And now, guys, I will continue adding golden beads until the end of this row. And when I'm done adding them, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here i have two super do beads and i'm going in this one here okay so now i have this see how how curly it looks and now we will straighten it up so i'm going through these two uh, golden super do's through the inner hole and then i'm going and zigzagging through the outer hole and now i'm going to add chameleon beads everywhere here one chameleon here one chameleon 
here one chameleon. And I will continue this easy and pleasant row until the end. And when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, and here I am where I add my last seed bead from this row. And now I exit through the super do and through this next seed bead. By the way, if you like round shape, you could leave it like this. But I will show you now a beautiful edge. And how I do this, I take seven of these beautiful beads. Okay, I have my seven here. I skip the bead that's on my way and I go through the following seed bead. Okay, now I have this. Then what I do is that I want to reach my next seed bead. And I take three and I go back like this through it. And I want to exit in one movement just to save time through the following seed bead. And when I pull, I have this beautiful cross of four, also called right angle weave. Okay, again, I have seven beads here. And I skip the next seed bead and go through the following. And I also want to reach the next bead. And here I want to add three. And go back like this and reach the following seed bead just to save time okay and i'm going to repeat this guys until the end this is seven three seven three and i'll meet you here at the end and here i am guys where i'm just added my last three beads from this row and i want to do an additional edge here that is why i'm going through three of these seven beads one two three i skip the one at the angle and i go through all the other beads in this direction okay here i want to form an angle if it's not formed pull the bead in this direction and pull like this okay i'll show you again going here at these seven beads that i added and i'm going through the first four of those seven sorry for the first three of those seven I skip the one at the center and I go through all of the beads in this direction okay and I pull okay guys and I will do this until the end and I'll meet you here and as I'm here, guys, where I just added my last angle, what I want to do is go in this direction. Through all of those beads. And exit here at the top. Now I want to take my earring finding. And I want to take two golden beads, then my earring finding, then two more golden beads. And what I do is that I go back like this. You see two goldens, earring finding, two goldens. And I make a loop of beads here. Then what I want to do is reinforce. Okay, and after reinforcement, what I want to do is make a knot and cut my thread. And how I do this, I make here a loop. 
and I go once and I go second time through this loop I've made and I pull then I go through the following bead here in this direction and I cut my thread okay guys and now my retro festive super duo earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe with the bell and like share and comment this video because you help me so much to develop my channel and make more videos down there in description you will find a full list of materials link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials mainly on my facebook and instagram pages you could also check my second channel with the fast clips and see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye from me.